Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Don't mind my appearance. I just got off work, changed my shirt, and I'm ready for dinner. I try to think about what am I in the mood for on the way back home? And I said, I'm making waffles. We can stay up late, swapping manly stories, and in the morning, I'm making waffles. I made waffles this past weekend. So bomb. Like, so delicious. And I posted pictures like on Instagram and some Facebook groups I'm a part of and people was going wild So I was like Let me make a video on this. So Stay tuned cuz it's coming like <sighs> Get ready for it All right, so I'm gonna start off with four beautiful eggs I'm gonna crack those right into the bowl and with the power of technology Boom, there's four. All right, next up, I'm gonna add in two teaspoons of vanilla extract or sugar-free vanilla syrup. I just chose to do one of each. Up next, I'm gonna add in one tablespoon of sugar substitute. I'm gonna be using Truvia. Now I'm going to add in a tablespoon of melted Kerrygold butter and I just put that in the microwave, melted it up and poured it on in. Next I'm going to add in 4 ounces of softened cream cheese and yes I'm using an avocado scooper to get this out because it was handy dandy so just got to make it do what it do. Looking back, I should have just used a rubber spatula, but sometimes you just don't think right. I gotta get every last drop. Now I'm gonna go to my hand mixer and mix it on up. All right, so now that I've mixed it once, let's add in some more ingredients. Now I'm gonna add in two no, four tablespoons of coconut flour. Sorry about that. And when I'm doing that, I'm not like leveling it off or doing anything like that. I'm just kind of throwing it in there willy nilly. For me, as long as it tastes good and it turns out delicious, that's pretty much all I care about. And these are delicious. These are by far the fluffiest waffles I've ever had in my life. And I can't believe they're low carb. All right, next, I'm um, going to add in the baking powder, and that's one and a half teaspoons. And we're going to go back to our hand mixer. And what I noticed with this is the cream cheese is kind of stubborn about incorporating with the rest of the squad, okay? Um, so what I had to do was I was trying to get all the cream cheese to join and it wasn't having it. So what I did was I grabbed a spoon and just kind of scraped it down and made it be a part of the group. Okay. After that, we're all done. You see that consistency? That's what we're looking for. It's not too thin, it's not too thick, so we can put this blender away, or hand mixer, whatever you want to call it, you know what I mean, okay? And then I'm just taking my rubber spatula and just making sure, again, that everything is fully incorporated, trying to get most of those cream cheese lumps out. Then I'm going to be using my Dash Mini Waffle Maker, which we found at Home Goods for $7.99. freaking It's the best $7.99 I've ever spent in my life. Um, it's great. It only makes one waffle at a time, but they make the it makes it so quickly. It's not even terrible. So I'm gonna spray it with some nonstick uh, coconut cooking spray, which I got from the Dollar Tree. Shout out to Dollar Tree. And I sprayed this between each waffle. I don't know if you have to, but I was just you know taking extra precaution. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start spooning out my batter with the rubber spatula. You just have to be careful not to put too much batter because I'll show you what happens when you put too much batter. You don't wanna be like me. You wanna make better decisions. So basically you wanna make sure all the black parts that are raised are covered 
That's how you know it's just enough batter. Shut that, go do some dishes. And it's looking a little light skin, so I'm gonna leave that in there for a minute. Now it's ready. And I think this takes like a minute to two minutes tops. And look at that. Like, Ego who? Who is Ego? Who is Ego? It's all about these low carb waffles. I'm telling you. So now I'm just gonna kinda speed through what I did, my whole process over and over and over again. Um, between waffles, I was just cleaning the kitchen, doing some dishes, um, you know, getting stuff done. And then here's the last batch. This is where I make my mistake. I put way too much batter, you know? I thought more batter, more better, but it's really not, okay? <laughs> um, I was just trying to use all of the batter and I wasn't even looking at the fact that I was putting too much. But I'll show you what happens. look at that just look at that just look don't do that okay everything the waffle still turned out just fine I just had to scrape those edges off um, yeah so this recipe makes about eight waffles and it's two net carbs for every two waffles I had enough allotment in my day for about three waffles so that's what I did and then you just I'm packaging these up for later these will last two three days in the refrigerator and they're amazing every single time I, I'm shook, okay? I don't know how long they'll last in the freezer, probably longer. So, I'm just gonna put my Kerrygold butter onto my waffles and just spread those amongst all three so that each waffle gets the buttery goodness. And then what you'll see next is I'm going to um, pull out some bacon and eggs that I made at the beginning of the week and that's just easier for me so I don't have to go and make bacon every time I want bacon. Um, and then I just add that to my plate right there and add some sugar-free syrup from Market Pantry, AKA Target, Target is life. Okay, I have a problem, I'm not afraid to admit it. And I'm done. Doesn't that look tantalizing? Like, come on, come on. Oh wait, did I forget the Cool Whip? Yes, I did. We got a slow-mo photo Cool Whip. Yes, yes, do the Cool Whip. All right, now I'm done. Guys, please try this. They're delicious. I'm not even kidding. Try them. You won't be sad. Dry bones, dry bones. You speak, laugh it up, laugh it up. Dry bones. 